Okay, so now we're going to have another sample activity for Microsoft Publisher, and this time we're going to create a brochure. So I'll give you an example first. What is our expected output? Okay, so this is an example of a brochure. So a brochure is um, something that is created by organizations, especially businesses, if they want to deliver some information to their clients. So this example is this example brochure is about uh, Salala. So as you can see, information about Salala is written here. Okay, so let us go and let us try to create our own brochure. So let's open our publisher. Let's go to built-in and then we choose brochures. So there are a lot of templates again that you can make use when you want to make your own brochures. So it's organized into informational, into price list. So for us, we're going to make we are going to make a informational. So let's choose this one. Create. Okay. So in creating a brochure in Publisher, when you are doing a template, it comes very easy for you because you can just change the layout is there already you can just change the content change some fonts change some colors um, in the template so as you can see this is layouted into three columns one two and three and it has a uh, there's two page two pages one and two okay so let's going to let's try to give some example of how to change here Okay, so let's say this is the name of the company is Salala Tours. And then we say Salala Tour Packages. Then you can write something here about the company and this one here or the information of the like the addresses, email contact numbers. Here you can put here the logo of your business. So let us delete this one and also this one. And let's try to add some content, some image. Okay, let's go to Google and let's get some pictures for Salala. Mm -hmm. Let's say this one. Okay, so let's copy this and then. I'll paste it here. Okay, then I will put it here. So if you want to add any other picture to your layout or to your brochure, you can do the same thing. So let's say let's add one more um picture so this one copy paste okay like this one and then here you can just write any anything here that you want to say to your customers when they read your brochures. So I'd say for example, Solala is a very beautiful place. Okay, so we write here something like this to our first page. This one here, if you have a company logo, you can put your logo in here. So I will delete this one since I don't have one. Then here, of course, you can change it to the specific uh, address and contact numbers related to your company. Okay, so let's go to the next page. So the next page usually contains the details of the brochure. 
So let's us write here. So Salala, I will write here Salala tour packages. So let's say I'm going to put in here the different beautiful places in Salala. So first is let's say we're going to add Mugsail. So let us first search for Mugsail. Mugsail Beach Salala. Okay, let's choose one picture. Okay, so say we choose this picture. We'll copy. You can resize this picture. Okay, then let's try to uh, search some information about Mogsil. Or if you have your own information, of course, you can write it. Just, just for the sake, for example. Okay, so this is just an example text. So copy. And then paste. So when you paste, you have, you can choose merge formatting or you can choose keep text only. So I think it's better we can just use keep text only so that the formatting will not be changed. So now you have your information. And so let's put some caption here. Um, let me copy this font. Then I will write this one. Okay, if you want to change the font colors of this one, you can also do it from here. Okay, so if you want to, if you want to add another um, content, you can do the same thing. So get okay, from here, if you want to add two more um, content to this particular page, you can do the same steps. Okay, so that's it and how you can create or how you can use the brochure templates in Microsoft Publisher to create your own brochures. So after you finish, you can just click save. Then I'll say this is uh, Salala. You click save. Now, if you're finished with all the contents and you have changed the contents in this part, then you can then make a PDF format for your brochure so that it's easy for you to share your brochure and print. So let's go to Save As, then choose PDF. I click Save. So you can convert your your brochure into PDF once you are done already with everything. Okay, so as you can see, we have changed this part, but the information here we have not completed. So this this is just I'm showing you how you can edit uh, templates in Microsoft Expression Web. Okay, thank you so much, and hope you enjoy our video, and then have fun in making your brochures.